Welcome back for the final video about report writing. By the end of this lesson you'll be able to choose a topic to write about which interests you. You'll be able to choose what level of assistance you want for your writing and you'll be able to write a report by following step-by-step -step instructions. Finally, you will publish your writing. Normally in school the next thing we do would be to write a report together as a class with the teacher doing the writing on the board. Then we would write them on our own with some help and then finally with no help at all. For this lesson we will use these to choose your own difficulty. If you're not confident yet you could do shared writing with an adult holding the pencil. If you're ready to work more on your own you can write a report on an animal or a sport and use the same subheadings that we had in the first two videos to help you. If you feel very confident about writing a report, choose your own topic and decide the subheadings for yourself. There are lots of different topics we can write a report about. We already wrote one about an animal and another about a sport. If you prefer, you can write about your favourite toy, a famous person you like, or an interesting country. You could write about your favourite video game, though this can be challenging because they have a lot of words you'd need to explain to your audience. There's also an awful lot of detail with video games. Mario, for example, has appeared in over 200 games, so it might be difficult to write a short report about him. You can use this template to help you. I'll leave a link in the description. Give your report a simple title. It could be called Rugby, or All About Lions, or South Africa. If you are writing about an animal, use the subheadings Appearance, Diet, and Habitat. For a sport, you could use rules, skills, and equipment. If you have chosen a different subject, write down all the facts on a piece of paper. Cut them out and sort them by what facts you think go together. These will be your paragraphs. Give each of them a subheading. Write the subheadings into the template. Next, we'll write our classification at the start of our report. Write down what this report is about in as few words as you can. If you are writing about daffodils, you could say, a daffodil is a yellow flower. One or two sentences is plenty. The details will go into the paragraphs. If you haven't done so yet, write down a few short words to decide what facts will go into each of your paragraphs. This is a good example of someone planning a report on bats. After that, we can write those facts into paragraphs as sentences. Write in the present tense. Make sure to keep it impersonal by not mentioning yourself and not including any opinions. Read over your report three times when it's done and check if there's anything you want to change or any little mistakes to fix. Add a picture or a diagram to help the reader. Well done on completing your report. Show what you wrote to your teacher or another adult and ask does it tick these boxes? If you thought writing a report with a template and some guidance from the video was a little bit easy, try to write one by yourself next time. The final step is to publish your writing. Put your report somewhere people can read it. It could be the school blog, seesaw, could be the wall of the classroom, or even just on your fridge. You've done fantastic work. Now it's time to turn off the screens and have a break. Thanks so much for listening and until next time, Slán Gafoel!